<sighs> Hi. Um, so this is my first um, video take and stuff. Um, I don't know. I'm just obviously I'm excited because you know it's a countdown. Like I think yeah, next week I'll be home. Wait, yeah, like the week is going fast, and the preparations are obviously happening. But I'm not there, so it's also kind of like I'm part of it, but I'm not part of it. Yeah, in terms of in terms of jackets, bring two jackets. Like, thank you. No one's going to be seeing you Thanks anyway. Even one. I bought the cows will be seeing me. Wow. The cows will wow. be seeing. No, I'm kidding. But we will be people, going to people's houses. What if houses. I find my future husband there? Yeah. I'm trying to pack light because I won't really be using um any of a lot of my clothes anyway because of what we'll be doing. So yeah. I'm gonna come back a new person, which is quite exciting. Um. Yeah, and I think it's a new step. Like, as much as it sounds dramatic, but, I mean, I don't think that I would... Any normal person would have a ceremony like this and not be changed by it. We're about to go home because I am preparing to have Umemolo, which is my traditional Zulu 21st. A coming of age like it's a different part of my life I think that's what I'm looking forward to and that's what I could say Umemulo is like a change I'm not like very traditional but this is like a thing taking me back to my roots you know like being one with the ancestors and this journey you know like as much as it's for me I also think it's for my parents because I think it's also a time for them to like it sounds so wrong like i'm yeah. objectified but it's also a chance for them to be like look we raised our daughter she has not disappointed us or like she's like she's kept us not kept herself but like she's looked after herself and you know like she's a good daughter etc etc hello don't watch me hello How are you? Oh my god, hello! Hello! Oh, how are you? Oh, good idea. Wow, that's nice. Oh, 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 hello. Why are you so stressed? It's weird being home after three months. I mean, I've been doing this for three years. But it's weird because, like, every time I come back, I feel like the room is just less, less and less of me. You know what I mean? Like, but it feels good, like, I mean, you know, I'm on my bed, like, you know, I can go to the kitchen and just make food or sleep. I follow modern trends. I mean, you know, I, I'm not, uh, I'm, I'm not as traditional as I am modern, basically. I look great, you know. Being a modern girl, I won't go to the mall bare-breasted. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, I think it's it, by balancing the two of them, I must know the two of them. And I know that one will allow something, one will not allow something. For this week of Umem Mulo, I'm not going to be wearing pants. As much as my heart will bleed wanting to wear pants, but I know that I need to wear skirts and respect the traditional aspects of, of my life and my parents and everything. Unompilo, uinganiami, umganwami, siyahlala naye, sikoke, sikhege. It's And then we've got two holes. And then I've got a... It's so great, Well, my sheets was quite great. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. I actually want to get one for Grahamstown, an electric blanket. We 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 cook on Kengoba. I got them from 
Nangi mpoi ila hini kuzi Kodwa ulompilo Wingane efan payo Wingane mkonzile Nangi mkonzile Masiso babili Sisheliso babili kaya Sia pega Sia paga Sia paga Sia kutla Sia kutla Gumnandi Aga konzile utazula Be away from home Mesebu ili njufungu basi kaya I think that I'm close to both my parents um, equally, but I think that I just really have like a softer spot for my dad. When we were growing up in my like childhood years, we all knew, all my cousins and I knew, would say, during the holidays, Eswayman is the place to be. Like, so, Sasle is cool as as local, would say, Eswayman is a kaya. So, Namanja to me, Mangi Lana, it's not like, I don't know, but or something but So uh, the traditional way of umemulo is that umunto mulayo fanele bento bento. So fanele like to be a virgin, basically. Like the proper way, anyway, from the beginning of time, I'm assuming, did involve virginity testing. I told my parents that I'm not comfortable with it in terms of I've never done it before. When you do the virginity testing, it's not just. It's not just you, the person that's having umemolo, it's everyone who's going to be with you, as from my knowledge. So then it would make my friends uncomfortable if I've never done it. For example, if I had to do it, I would have done it, but I didn't want to like impose or, or impose that on my friends. I know that you even jump over like a fire or something. Yeah, like you jump over and if you burn, <laughs> you know, it's you have been bad. <laughs> Who <laughs> Some people have this thing of some things you just don't challenge, they're the way that they are. I think with her, she grew up in a time that was it and that was how it was. And I think that sometimes there's some things that you should just leave. And like, I mean, I would like, maybe I would say to her, well, actually, this is what I think. I just think that as a woman, as now in this day and age, I don't think that we should be policed in that way. For me, I don't see why they shouldn't have umemulo just because they chose with their own bodies would say, okay, this is the time for me to have sex. I love uh, traditional things, so it's quite lit for me. <laughs> All right. And the freedom you get. What freedom? Uh, there's no, no freedom. freedom. The parents aren't always looking at you and whatever, so... Yeah. <laughs> He's the dodgy one. <laughs> Our generation have gone away from these things and become very westernized. So, I mean, if you can, I mean, if you're still able to do these things and you still have knowledge 
on how to do them and how to do them properly. I mean, it's good to be in touch with the side of of our culture as well. So we, I appreciate it a lot. So. All right, I think as a family, the we we in between because our parents when they just drift away from your culture, your traditions, and everything. So I think. It will always be like this, even when we old and have our own kids, because we were taught this way. So, yeah, I just think we in between. Umbomba. Gila emzinueno. Eni snigezo wana sina mamsha. Uguti sina kelo. I'm officially a soy man right now. And I got my Ispandla today, Razuli bracelets and stuff. So last night um, they slaughtered the, the goats and um, like that marked the official beginning because they had to sort of like report to the ancestors that this whole, um, this whole um, event Basically, Mbimbi has started because it's my birthday today. You know it. Um, my dad puts on bal over here, over here. I think over over here as well. And he like was just saying, wishing me all the best and stuff. Hey, you go into me too. Especially, you go listen to us and I'm sad. You go back to the sab. You go back to the sea these <laughs> days. <laughs> Abantu <laughs> So, we go to the city and 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 um, I'm not actually supposed to be showing my hair, so I'm going to cover it. 
So like I'm in the Rondavel. Um, my mom's also here and my people as well. And my friends came and more friends are coming today. Shani is also coming, which I'm really excited about. Yeah, she's gonna experience everything. So yeah, I think that's it. I haven't been able to really talk to my dad, so I really miss him. Like even a hug, you know, but I'm not allowed to be seen or talk to men, basically. Even my own father, can you imagine? So it's just been hard on our relationship at the moment. But I will see him on Friday properly. Yeah, so yeah. I was very excited to take part because you and I have been speaking about it since we were like in grade 8. It's a bit hard learning all the dances and songs, having no prior knowledge. Like, I know a lot of the other girls have probably been to events like this. They, um, speak Zulu a lot better than me, things like that. I think Obento Beto goes beyond whether you are a virgin or not, or whether you've had a child or not. Sometimes it's a big thing, eh? Alright. Because mm. girls are about to say petty, that girl. Girl made it on. Basically, I'm sexist, I say that. So. <laughs> At least you are enough. Mm. The main concern was I didn't want people to die because that car was so big and I was just like, oh my gosh, like, then what must happen? Do we carry on the next day? Tomorrow we're going to the river early in the morning and we have to immerse ourselves, not even like splash, but like inside the river to wash away the bad luck. So in moving water basically so that it washes it away. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously I was also worried about like my friends like are they okay you know because you know you're in a different environment and stuff and you know they had to suck up a lot. I was just worried in terms of, like a lot of my friends obviously couldn't make it because I mean it was a bit far. I thought that I wouldn't have enough like friends with me.
from Shwe comes off. That's like that's like a big thing. That means that girl, you are not the virgin you said you were. You know. Okay. Although I didn't say it, but I mean, I'm just saying that like if that fell off, I think that I think I would have just died as well and just like disintegrated into the ground. <laughs> But for me, now, I'll continue to challenge my spaces and continue to challenge tradition. So I'll never say that my tradition and my culture oppresses me. I'll never say that because if it, if I if I did feel oppressed, I would challenge that, and I and I'd say I am now not comfortable anymore. <laughs> Good, I enjoy your day. I hope you've had a great one and I love you, dog. I do believe in woman empowerment and I do and I feel I do believe that, you know, as a black woman, you know, there's so much there's so much that we can give, there's so much that we are and there's so much that we can do, but obviously we're limited by society and obviously patriarchy and all of those problems. I think I would I would say then I'm a work black feminist. In Gramstown, um, I still have my spawned, my traditional Zulu bracelets that I got when I turned 21. I think it feels weird being in this environment with this on because I've never, like, like, I don't know, like, it's just, it's just different, you know? I think this was a beautiful experience. Like, I don't want to be dramatic and be like, I'm a changed person. But like it does, like you do think about things and you do think about, like I mean, the fact that how much, like a lot of money went into this, you know. Like, this has also shaped me into something different, like being vulnerable and and answering questions that I might be a little bit uncomfortable, or answering questions or doing things that some people might not approve of. So I think it's also, this was also a learning experience, which I'm very grateful for, so yeah. Yes. Yes.